Welcome to Storytime with Miss Melange. I am so thrilled that you are here. Go ahead and grab a comfy seat and let's get started. The title of our book today is The Rumble Hunters, written by my dear author friend, Courtney B. Dunlap. Enjoy. Is that a rumbling in my ear? A midnight grumbling coming near. I hope it's not a scaly beast that wants me for its next great feast. I check my fish, he's had a fright. Don't worry, Blue, we'll be all right. And though he's green around the gills, he seems to like these nighttime thrills. We set off quick to search the place. We'll hunt this sound, we're on the case. The shadows through an ancient art will lead us to what's in the dark. I slow my step, try not to trip. My heartbeat takes another skip. We creep into the laundry room and then we hear a sudden boom. Mm, How do you think the main character feels? Yeah. The whirling washer hums and moans while belting out odd clanging tones with lots of gurgles and a slosh. It seems the grumbles, not the wash. We won't be playing hide and seek with any grumbling furry sneak. We must be brave as we trek on and catch this thing before the dawn. Did you notice that this is a rhyming book? I peek into my lizard's cage to try to get a better gauge. I thought he might have been what thump, but no, he's fine. Rex just looks stumped. We probably have to set a snare to lure this dragon from its lair. I hold the cage and fishbowl tight, then journey on through more dim light. Look at the illustrations here. What tool does the main character have to help him through the night? That's right, he has a flashlight strapped to his head. Very clever. Up, thump, crack. Whoa, what was that? I think I squished my doggy's back. How do you think his doggy feels here? Yes, I agree. He's shaking as he slips away. His fur's a blur, but he's okay. I really hope he comes along, cause old bear's ears just can't go wrong. We give a sigh and loudly grunt. This night looks grim for our big hunt. Wait, over there, the sliding door. Whatever lurks can't beat us for. We listen close for each new howl and stalk our prey just like an owl. It seems this is our biggest foe. I think I'll call in my big bro. We need his help before day breaks. I know Eli's got what it takes. We search the place with great concern. No pillow blanket left unturned. Hoo hoo. It sounds as if Thor's hammer fell, but where it is, I just can't tell. It might be here or over there. It really could be anywhere. Each clamor simply not the same. I'm tired of this listening game. We vow to scour and must go on to catch this snarling, spewing spawn. That's a tongue twister. Can you say with me, boys and girls? To catch this snarling, spewing spawn. That's right. We'll chase it to that tall bookcase or trap it in our small crawl space. Because that rumbling, grumbling sound is somewhere close. It's almost found. And now we hear a tiny peep. It's from our sis who's not asleep. Naomi rubs her aching eyes. We bring her to to shush her cries. Now hold on guys, wait up one sec. There's one more hall we didn't check. Each rumble warms our hunting trail because we know our ears can't fail. 
This nighttime quest with our Brave Six, a splash and crawl and walk and mix. This last room surely has some clues. We hold our breath and stand in twos. What do you think they're going to find? Let's see. Our parents' door is closed up tight, but that won't stop this drilling night. We push and push and then we're through. But what we hear sounds like a zoo. To our surprise, what sounds like roars is actually from our dad who snores. He's shaking ceilings, floors, and walls and resonating down the halls. We found our culprit of the night. What gave us such an awful fright? That so-called monstrous hairy freak with teeth so sharp they'll make you shriek was no more than our dad's deep doze and it was underneath our nose. The rise and fall of his broad chest made deafening sounds causing unrest. My parents wake to hear the sound of their whole house all gathered round. We hoot and holler, then we fall into their bed to tell it all. No worries now, we're feeling snug, as if we're bugs all in a rug. Hooray for us, no need for fears. We crack this case with clues and ears. And that is the end of Rumble Hunters. My question to you is how did you think the story was going to end? Did you expect that their dad was going to be the person making all the noise? Go ahead and share your answer with someone. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure to share this video with others. Last but not least, make sure to support Author Dunlop by purchasing this book in the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.